Unclip the oxygen sensors from the spring-loaded brackets as indicated by the green arrows and move them out of the way. You do not have to unplug them, but I have done so for photographic purposes. Remove the 5mm drain plug screw and allow the transmission fluid to drain into a pan. Remove the T30 torque fastener, green arrow, that holds the heat shield onto the transmission mounting bracket, yellow arrow. Loosen the six T30 torque fasteners, but do not remove them. Here, I'm only showing one being loosened. Even though you have drained the pan, there is still oil in the pan. If you remove them all at once, there is a chance you can have a large spill if the pan falls. Here are the positions of the six T30 torque fasteners, green arrow. The yellow arrow points to a fastener currently hidden behind the pan. Remove the T30 torque fastener at the front right of the transmission. Then move the heat shield out of the way to pull out the transmission pan mounting bracket, green arrow. Each fastener has a mounting bracket. Note the position of each before you remove them. Remove the other fasteners on the front, sides, and the one rear mounting fastener. The one pictured here is the left front. Notice the transmission pan mounting bracket. Note its position for installation. I like to leave one bracket attached to the rear corner. As I loosen the remaining bracket, I can slowly bring down the pan to avoid a transmission fluid spill. With the pan removed, grab the filter with your hand and pull it down to remove it from the valve body. It is held in place with an O-ring seal on its neck. Peel up on the transmission pan gasket and fit a new one in its place. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Fit the filter in place. Install the oil pan and tighten down the six fasteners with their brackets positioned as you took them off. Install and tighten the heat shield mounting fasteners and tighten the drain plug. This photo illustrates the back of the engine compartment. Locate the transmission oil fill tube. Use a pick to lift up on the transmission locking tab. In our case, the tab is broken, so we had to push down on it to remove the transmission dipstick cover tube. Remove the cover and fill the transmission from here. It is best to have measured the amount of fluid you drain from the transmission and fill with the same amount of new fluid. If you have the Mercedes-Benz special dipstick tool, you can insert that to check the fluid level. Mercedes wants the transmission fluid level checked at about 30 degrees Celsius, so run the engine for about two or three minutes. Put your foot firmly on the brake pedal and run the gear selector through all gears, keeping it at each gear for about a minute to equally distribute the transmission fluid throughout the valve body. Now you can use the dipstick tool to check the fluid level. Make sure it is in between the two lines on the tool. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.